Yo, what's up? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67, back at it again from Twitch, doing another God Builds video for you today. Um, as we've done yesterday, any kind of Prime God Build video, we're going to be doing the Reaper Prime God Build, God Build video today for you. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, we're going to head over to the Simulcrum. So, I'll kind of do that for you from here, especially for the newer players that don't know how to get there. We're covering the base stats of it. It has actually been buffed as well, so it's a lot stronger than it used to be. I used to use it a lot before. I actually had four forms in my build. Again, I got like uh, probably about 10,000 kills it prior to this uh, new buff, and uh, not even playing it for like uh, half a year so far. I've been using the Legion and the Nikana Prime mainly, but Legion is my main goal too for the last six months. But prior to that was Nikana, and then so many months, and then prior to that was the Reaper Prime. So, we'll head over to here, I'll go through the base stats for you, we'll talk you through the build and how it works, and if you've got any questions, let me know. But we'll go over the base stats, the mods, and how it works, what to build for, you'll actually see how strong it is as well. Let's head over to here real quick. Let's travel, set the one set. So we're going to go against level 125s like I normally do, um, we don't really like to fight level 100s because we tear through them way too quick, but I mean even at level 125s you'll see how powerful this build is, and we'll go for the base stats with you first. So head over to the Reef Prime, amazing looking weapon, really fun to use, quite easy to get still, um, some people are looking for more pieces now but it's been out a while so you should be able to get the pieces easily through your clan, your friends, or just ask online. I might have some spare pieces as well, so if you need to trade, just uh, hit me up on PlayStation. Captain P67 on PS4. So we've got the attack speed at 108, blocking angle 60, combo duration is 5.0. Crit chance is amazing, 35%. So a lot of crits on the base, absolutely amazing. Multiplayer is pretty decent, 2.5. We've got 5.3.6, range 2.8, so the range is great. Ribbon disposition is now 4, amazing. Slam attack is 600, slide attack 400, status is amazing as well, 25%, great, so you can do a good hybrid build, so great crits, great status, impact 30, puncture 30, slash is where it's at, 140, so 140.0, um, good slash on the base stats, no uh, procs involved with it, so it doesn't come with any of the stats or features, Heavy attacks is 1,200 on damage, slam attack is 800, slam radial damage is 800, slam radius is 9.0, wind up is 1. Now, that's the base stats without everything added. Now, I've gone for the reaping spiral, because I think it uh, hits a lot, it's very fast moving. Also keeps your body moving as well, so you're not in one spot, and it's a pretty cool stance to have. So you might want to reuse something else, but I believe reaping spiral is the best uh, for my playstyle, and it's a lot faster than others, and it's a lot more DPS too. Now what we've added is Organ Shatter for that critical damage, we've added Prime Fury Max for that maximum attack speed, we've added Prime Pressure Point for that great melee damage, the Riven itself is absolutely amazing, so we've got 130.6 crit chance, we've got 80.1 attack speed, so if you add this with Prime Fury plus Berserker you'll see the absolute speed of it. This negative finisher damage is, is minor, unless it's if it's over 100 then it's really bad, but I mean at 80% you won't really see too much, especially with the damage I'll be doing. And then we've added Fever Strike in there for that Toxin, 90% Toxin. So we've added a, a Corrosive build. Normally you can go for Viral builds, but Corrosive definitely works, stripping that armor first. We've added Condition Overload again. This will synergize with this. So 120% melee damage per status type effect in the target. So as you can see, we've got Impact Puncher and Slash, plus we added a Corrosive in there. So you'll see a lot of damage buff on there, these two included. And obviously we've got Voltaic Strike for that Corrosive damage as well. And here's Berserker, like I said, for that 30% attack speed, max 75% for 24 seconds on critical hit. So with the crit chance we got here, um, we're going to be critting a lot. So when we go over to the main stats now, we've got attack speed of 2.55. That's not including Berserker. So when you include Berserker, it's a lot faster. It's absolutely insane. Um, the critical chance has gone up to 80%. So we will be critting pretty much every slash, 80.7. So that will cl click off Berserker pretty much every time. The multiplier has gone up to 4.8. The range is 2.8, and we've got the slam attack at 3975, slam radio damage 200, slide attack 2650, status has now been bumped to 40%, so you've got a rough chance of hitting every 2 or 3 hits to 
proc per slash and that's why we're going for corrosive to melt that armor and now we've got impact at 79.5 puncture at 79.5 slash is now 371.0 and corrosive has been added now at 795.0 so 795 corrosive on there absolutely insane damage 7950 slam attack 5300 slam radial damage 800 slam radius is 9.0 wind up is 1 and that's on the heavy attack and now without further ado let's get to it so we'll be fighting the targets that are paused for now at level 125 as you can see there so level 125 something like this And as you can see, <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. Like, it takes like less than a second to tear through them. Um, I'll show you one more time. The only thing that you might see, uh, you can class not as a negative per se, but not as efficient, is the stance. The stance itself is a bit awkward, so not all the hits hit directly to one enemy. It will attack multiple, but in crowds, it's absolutely insane. The fact that it moves, and you're moving, so it's like I said, it's not exactly a negative because you don't want to be on the spot doing the same attack. Some of the stances are like that, but this is actually advancing forward and moving around. But as you can see again, how ridiculously strong it is. Now, if we head over to and unpause the target, so I'll show you like a uh, group system where they're not as simulated as being paused. Yeah, so if you're the enemy, it's coming towards you. Kick that dust up with narrows, get in there. Hit any targets that are obviously vulnerable. And there you go. Then let's head over to here. I was up to try and to history. So if you head over to here and there, we'll get to it. I'll show you one more time. So this is an unsimulated situation. Get over here. And you absolutely see the damage again. So it just takes a few seconds. Just the way the stance works. You might not proc every single one, but it's absolutely insane. And I'll show you one more time. So again, if you've got any questions, let me know. But I've covered the base build. I've covered how strong it is. I've covered what it does, what it covers for you. I've covered how the props work, the stances to use, how the good crowd control is, what the best situations are. I've gone through each individual mod as well. How to get the weapon. And as you can see yourself, how strong it is. Absolutely ridiculous. So whether you're attacking one target or groups, they barely survive one combo as long as you prop all the hits. So you folks have it, there's another God Build video done for you. So the links for the sub and donations will be in the description for you on my Twitch account. I do cover God Build videos every other day, so if there's any other God Build videos you want covered, make sure you follow my channel on Twitch. If you want to sub and donate to the channel, the links will be in the description below on my Twitch profile. And uh, I'll be covering another weapon shortly, but if there's anything else you want me to cover, let me know. Make sure you support my content, make sure you support what I do, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.